Hello folks, something different this time. Instead of talking about what other people have done with MM Basic, I'm going to briefly show and tell you about something I've done myself. This project is a scratch-built handheld video game based around a Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller running the MM Basic PicoMite firmware. I will show it in action first running a laser cycle game of my own concoction and then describe the hardware to the best of my ability. I think it's worth noting that I know more about programming than I do about electronics, so this design is really a rearrangement of other people's ideas rather than anything particularly original or special. For anyone who wants to know more, there are links to the schematic and other resources in the description of this video. And now, without further ado, here it is. OK, I'll just start it up and let it play through its attract mode. If you think some of the sounds are missing or not correctly synchronised, or are wondering why you can't hear the button presses, it's because the original sound recording had rather too much of my stomach growling, and I ended up patching a new version together in post-production. The music and sound effects really are a bit of a racket, and I'm intending to improve it in a later revision. This is the setup menu where I will configure the game for three AI players plus myself. Because this game is also for the Picomite VGA and Color Maximite 2, it will in theory let me configure for four human players. Obviously nonsense on this device. If you aren't familiar with the Light Cycle game, then I believe it originates from the original Tron movie and is a member of the Snake family of games. Unlike Snake, however, the tracks laid down by each player are permanent, at least until that player crashes into one of the other tracks or the wall around the arena. I'm the red player, and even though this is the novice difficulty level, it's still pretty tricky, at least for me, and practically impossible at the higher difficulty levels. The game ends when all the players have crashed. And that's game over. I can enter my name for the high score table and it will be persisted on the Picomite flash drive. And we are back to a track node, so let's switch it off. OK, time to talk a bit about the hardware and try not to make a fool of myself. We've got a standard Raspberry Pi Pico here that is running the PicoMite firmware. The controller here is laid out as a classic Nintendo Entertainment System controller, including an old CMOS 8-bit parallel in, serial out shift register. Strictly speaking, that isn't necessary. The Pico has more than enough free GPIO for the buttons to be connected directly. All these resistors here are pull-ups for the buttons. Audio is temporarily provided by these two 16-ohm buzzers with the simplest possible amplifier arrangements. This is just a reset button, and we've got a power switch at the side. This is a standard cheap 320x240 SPI display with a built-in SD card reader. I'll just pluck that off, which I'm making a meal of. But there we go. Nothing special here. That's just a resistor controlling the current to the display backlight. This is power in. I don't have a proper connector, so I've just got a couple of female headers bent over here. 
and this is a cheap Chinese LiPo charging module and protection circuit that feeds the rest of the device through this Schottky diode. Underneath, if we just remove the base plate, we get 3.7 volts from this LiPo. And now if I turn that around, we can see the rat's nest of wiring. This is the controller button connections around the shift register. There's the Pico. That's the display and SD card connections there and there. This is the charging module. And there is the header feeding the audio. And that's all there is to it at the moment. And that wraps it up for this time. As usual, Please leave any questions or comments, good or bad, below, and I will endeavour to reply to them. Also, if you're inclined to like or subscribe, then I would appreciate it. Until the next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.